Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur, and um, this is a this is an odd video for me to be making. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of get to the point of it. Alex Trebek, the host of Jeopardy for 36 years, one year longer than I've been alive, has died at the age of 80. He lost a battle with uh, pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. This news, I just found out about five, ten minutes ago at the most. And it kind of hit me in a way that I was kind of shocked. I mean, first of all, I don't watch Jeopardy all that frequently. I mean, you know, occasionally I do. It's on, you know. It's a staple of American television. So, of course, you watch it. And I knew that Alex Trebek was sick. He was also old. It's not a good combination when you're sick and when you're old. I mean, if you're if you're going to get sick, you'd probably prefer to get sick when you're old because, you know, your chances of living a whole lot longer at that point anyway are probably a little slim. But, you know, that I, I knew that was it was coming. And yet, now that he's actually gone, I'm, I find myself really sad, like there's a little hole in here. So, let me kind of explain to you my history with Jeopardy, because it's kind of funny to think that you would have a history with Jeopardy, but I actually, believe it or not, remember the very first time I watched Jeopardy. I was in New Jersey, and I was in the house of my, we were visiting my grandparents, um, Mimi and Pop Pop, and I can still even remember the smell of the dining room. I remember how the dining room was set up right next to the little basement. There was a door, you know, they were cooking some chicken, I believe, that night. And Pop-Up turned onto a channel and Jeopardy was coming on. And I remember him clearly stating, all right, let's see how smart everyone in this room is to me and my cousins. And uh, I remember watching it and I didn't even know what the rules was. In fact, it, it, this, this is because I was just young. I remember watching it being confused like when they would ask state something I remember asking well what's what's the answer not realizing that the point of the game was you were to ask what the question was I found that out later on so that was my earliest memory of Jeopardy and of course Alex Trebek was hosting it in fact he was hosting it with his very world famous mustache which I've opted to include one of those pictures on the right of this video because that's always how he's going to look to me. And over the years, I did watch a little bit of Jeopardy. Once I figured out what the rules were, it became a lot more fun to watch the show. I remember them having categories for Disney movies and comic book characters. I remember actually screaming at the TV because I must have been the only person who knew the answer when they were showing a bunch of cartoon characters and the questions were like, who is Charlie Brown? Who is Garfield? Who is Blondie? Who is Kathy? And they got to the last one, the big question, and uh, the cat from Bloom Country was there and nobody answered. And I actually remember shouting at the TV, who is Bill the Cat? And uh, that's what it was. And not only was the game show fun, but Trebek really was a great host. He wasn't flamboyant, but he came on calm. He gave the air of, I'm in charge. I'm the smartest person in the room. And he wouldn't berate you for not being smart, but like he would definitely point out when you were wrong about something. And, you know... It was kind of like, it wasn't necessarily 
just Jeopardy. It was the Alex Trebek show. Like, Alex Trebek came on TV, and he was so confident in his genius that he had a show where he gave you the answers. And you had to figure out the questions. Now, I know he probably didn't actually create the concept of the show or anything like that. But for all intents and purposes, Alex Trebek was Jeopardy. I always thought of it in my mind as the Alex Trebek show. It was always called Jeopardy. And so, like many people, I watched it on and off for years. And he was always there. Kind of like how, for some people, Walter Cronkite was always there, or Barbara Walters. Alex Trebek was a consistent presence on TV. Interestingly, he dies the same year that Regis Philbin, who, you know, was on TV for 50 years as well. Well, he was on TV for like 50 years. Um, Trebek was probably on TV for 36. Um... Who would have thought that in the same year we would lose two TV legends who were on TV, they were constant, maybe they didn't wow you with their talents or anything, maybe they didn't have the presence of like an Oprah Winfrey or Steve Jobs, but they were always there and it was comforting to know that they would always be there, but of course... Even legends pass. And today, Alex Trebek is no longer with us. Forgive the mess in the background. I was doing stuff, heard the news, and said, you know, I I just want to record something. You know, I do have memories of Jeopardy, and I have memories of, you know, the first time I watched it with my grandpa not understanding what the game was, the time when the comic strip characters were there, and I knew for the brief moment in time that if I was playing in that show, I would what I would get very far ahead on that category alone. I remember that exciting time when that one guy, I think his name was also Kevin, you know, just kept winning and winning, and it actually looked like he might win a million dollars on Jeopardy, and he did. And then he came back and retained his crown for a very long time. It was, you know, there is something about game shows when done properly. If you want an example of how important the host is to a show, remember Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when Regis Philbin was hosting the show? Or, um, you know, The Weakest Link when that... British lady, I, I can't remember her name right now, was, you know, doing the show. Remember when the shows went to syndication and the host got replaced? Remember how boring the shows got after that? I don't know. I'm sure whoever they pick to replace Trebek on Jeopardy will be good, but he has some huge shoes to fill because Trebek just made that show what it was, and I think people were watching that show just as much for the game as they were were for his presence. In fact, going back to this article, you'll notice in this article, he does not have a mustache. He did shave his world-famous mustache at one point. And here's the funny thing, that has actually, that was news when it happened. Like, it actually made headlines when Trebek shaved the mustache, and he stuck to his guns, he never grew it back, and yet, the funny thing is, whenever I think about Trebek, he doesn't look like this in my mind, he looks like this, on the right. He he will always have that mustache, and he just pulled it off really well. I, I know, we're talking about a mustache of all things, but... It was just iconic. It'd be kind of like if John Waters didn't have his mustache. There's just some people who can pull it off really well, and he did it for, I think, at least two decades before he finally decided to get rid of it. And uh, what's interesting, this is like a testament to his talent as a host. That was extremely distracting for him to not have the mustache, and yet we still got over it because he was still just that good at what he did. 
So, I don't know what's going to happen to Jeopardy from now on. We have 36 years of um, Jeopardy that will most likely play in syndication because game shows like this don't age. They just don't. That's one of the reasons Jeopardy has been around for so long. But the new host, it's going to take some getting used to. I can't promise it's going to be the same. And who knows, Jeopardy might not be the same show it was with whoever they decide to replace him with. But this is certainly a sad day. It, a legend has left us. It's one more reminder of our mortality. It's one more reminder not to take things for granted because, again, Jeopardy wasn't a huge thing in my life. I didn't watch it every day. I didn't even watch it every week. I probably watched it once every couple months, but it was always comforting to know that it was there and that he was there and kind of felt he always would be. But, you know, God has his plan and his time for us, and I guess it was just his time to go. We're going to miss you, Alex Trebek. You know, what's the answer? Let's see here. I, I kind of almost want to, um, I guess if this was a Jeopardy question in the future, like, let's say Jeopardy is still on in 200 years. One of these days, there's going to be an answer and the answer is going to be cons often considered the greatest Jeopardy host of all time. And the question is going to be, who was Alex Trebek? Take care, everyone. Hug a loved one today.